Heartbreak is painful. In the hit song by the Bee Gees, How Do You Mend a Broken Heart, they compare the process to stopping rain from falling or the sun from shining. Whether your heartbreak is caused by unrequited love or a failed relationship, there is that pain of shattered dreams and expectations. Heartbreak is caused by a loss or a longing for someone dear to your heart, or, as is often the case, holding on to your idea, the story you have told yourself about that relationship or person, which proved to be false. Letting go of your own untruths can be very hurtful, but ultimately healthy and necessary. And although life might feel hopeless and empty at that moment, mending your broken heart can be just a little simpler than the Bee Gees described. It's important to allow yourself to feel. Normally, our first instinct is to rationalize or push away uncomfortable feelings. We try to think our way out of these painful periods in our lives. Although it might seem easier to distract yourself by going on a spending spree or getting lost in your work, feeling the pain is part of the healing process. We've all heard the famous Carl Jung quote that what we resist persists. Thoughts and feelings that we push away have a tendency to become more intrusive, more frequent and more oppressive. That's because your body is trying to alert you that something important is needing your attention and you can no longer continue the way you have been. Your job is to do a deeper investigation in order to ultimately learn from this experience and move in a more meaningful life direction. By allowing yourself to feel the unpleasant emotions, you are actually freeing yourself from them in the long run. You are refusing to give them power over your life. Realize that these feelings and thoughts are productive. They are a means. There's a difference between going through the grief and wallowing in self-pity. You are not a victim. You are a warrior that is battling through the pain in order to learn from this experience and become a greater version of you. Next, realize that you are not your feelings. They don't define you. They are temporary. Your feelings are not the truth. Once you move past this pain, which can be blinding, you'll see that this loss is actually a gain. There is nothing purposeless in the universe. This experience too has purpose and meaning. Try to realize this potential. Don't let your negative thoughts and feelings spiral out of control or you feel like you're drowning. When that happens, often people tend to engage in self-destructive behavior, which, needless to say, sends them in the wrong direction. Come up with a plan so that if you feel you're drowning and your thoughts and feelings are spiraling, you do fill in the blank. It could be that you read something inspiring, or you listen to some music, or you call a friend. Having a support system is very important. Heartbreak often is accompanied with depression. Among other things, depression has a way of making us feel that no one loves us and we're alone. Most of the time, there is no evidence to support what your depression is telling you. It's just depression lying to you and trying to drown you. Don't let it. Reach out to others who are able to be non-judgmental and supportive. If you don't have such people in your life, find them. Saying that you need help can be terrifying. For some, it means admitting your weakness. And some cultures don't encourage talking about feelings. However, shame, silence, and loneliness are the true killers. A supportive, encouraging environment is a lifesaver. Next, change the story that you tell yourself. The story changed once you broke up, and you can play a big part in changing the story for the better. A better story isn't pitiful. If you're refusing to change your story from, I lost everything, or life will never be the same, to something more palatable, you might be finding some reward in wallowing in self-pity. Your perception shapes your reality. When a relationship ends, you grieve. You may not be able to see the positives in the situation right away. However, eventually, in healthy grieving, you begin to alter the story to focus on the positives. Your life can be improved vastly if you change your perception of the situation. Change the story you tell yourself. You are not a victim. Your experience is purposeful. Your life has meaning and purpose. 
You are important. This moment is given to you by the universe in order to grow, become better, build better relationships and meaningful connections with others. Wayne Dyer identifies realizing the gifts hidden in suffering as one of the most important factors in becoming enlightened. Numerous teachings tell us that by changing our thoughts, we change our lives. Kabbalah tells us that nothing is more whole than a broken heart. That's because your pain can propel you to make the necessary improvements, making it a blessing. All suffering has a clear goal. The only question is how, by doing the work, to use suffering purposefully. The trick is not to get stuck. When you go through a painful situation, often your brain wants to engage in familiar behavioral and thinking patterns that maintain the status quo. You want a quick fix where relief is readily available. You may not want to do the work, dig deeper and connect with others. Instead, you may look for coping strategies that are readily accessible and which you have utilized in the past. Our neural pathways like this familiarity and run on these templates, which are often destructive. You just want to feel better and to help you cope and navigate the situation. You might resort to your old and familiar ways, even if that familiarity does not involve a happy outcome. If you want a happy outcome, change the story. Become an active participant in bettering your life. Seek meaning and purpose in life. Connect with positive, supportive people. And lastly, pay it forward. When you engage in acts of kindness and make others feel good, you also boost your own happiness. Doing something nice is also a powerful way to halt a negativity loop. Losing is hard. Be kind to yourself and others. If you're willing to do the work and move forward in a positive direction, soon you'll see that your loss is actually a gain. You can do it and a good environment can help. Connection is the antidote to unhappiness.